Well, now to the teacher strike in Sacramento. Things are heating up tonight with some teachers announcing they plan to stay inside district headquarters until a deal is reached. ABC 10's Mike Duffy is there live tonight. Mike, an active evening. A very active evening, Chris. It's day six of the teachers' strike, and many of the teachers here have told me, and as you can see all around, have decided they're tired of waiting for things to happen. So they're here right now to show their support for their colleagues who are inside. Those colleagues have been here since one o'clock today. They wanted to sit down with the district and see if they could come to some sort of resolution. Dan Shalek is the vice president of SEIU Local 1021. He explained why everyone showed up at the Cerna Center Wednesday around 1 p.m. That community walked in and said, we're here to, to, to seek resolution. And we're not here to just talk about it. We're not here to post it on social media. We're here to actually get it done and make it happen. And I asked him about a rumor that teachers had stormed the building. I wouldn't use the term stormed. Uh, we walked in. Uh, peacefully, but with a strong intention to make bargaining happen. He explained why they're trying to move the needle now. Uh, you know, we've tried to explain to kids why this has taken six days and uh, we can't come up with an explanation. We'd like to get this solved today. David Fisher, second grade teacher and president of the Sacramento Teachers Union, explained what changed. We just decided, why don't we just come on and see if the district will meet for, with us in person. So far, they have seen movement. A couple of the district are on Zoom, but our team is here at the Cerner Center, the district headquarters, and uh, we have had an initial um, meeting with the district and now they're in what they call a caucus to, to talk and we plan to come back and um, talk to them again in a few minutes. So our strategy is to get an agreement so we can get back to school tomorrow. I asked Fisher about the rumor that teachers plan to stay overnight. We're, we're going to stay, but I want to be clear, it's not a sit-in, it's not an occupation of the uh, Cerner Center, it's here to get business done, real business done. And, um, you know, we hope the district also doesn't want to leave until um, we get something done. And back out here, you can see this is local 1021 SEIU. They're here showing their support, their solidarity with their teachers, their colleagues. And also around here, you can see all of these people writing on the sidewalks, words of affirmation, support for their colleagues who are inside as they continue to try to show that they are asking for change, asking for more from the school district. Now, last time I checked, the people inside said that they still have not heard from the school district. They were hoping hoping that school could resume tomorrow, but at this point, their guess is as good as yours and mine. Chris? Mm -hmm. Our Mike Duffy reporting live for us tonight. As you see, several teachers and uh, staff members gathered outside the headquarters tonight. We thank you, Mike.